Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I am on St. Helena Island near Beaufort, South Carolina. And I have read that there is something that's very strange that's going on in the graveyard here. And we are going to take a look at that right after this station. Identification. Church of St. Helena in downtown Beaufort, South Carolina was built in 1724 and it is the one of the oldest active churches in North America. And there are some really old graves and tombs here. Let's walk around and take a look. This one is kind of unique. Looks like a house. We are at the Chapel of Ease of St. Helena Parish in Beaufort. We are over on the St. Helena Island. The Chapels of Ease are chapels that were built that were connected to larger churches, but because of the plantations being so far out, it was very difficult to travel to and from town to go to the church so they built little smaller chapels called chapels of ease to make it convenient for the plantation owners and farmers and even the slaves to attend religious services The chapel is built using something called tabby, which is bits of seashell. Because we are so close to the coast, actually on one of the coastal islands. Two of the church members, Edgar Fripp and his wife Eliza, had this mausoleum built just for them. It was built in 1852 by a stone cutter from Charleston, W.T. White. On April the 12th, 1852, they said that the vault was a fine affair and didn't have to wait long for Edgar and his wife to take residence here but the Yankees broke in hoping to find some treasure and finding none it has remained open the legend goes that the door on the Fripp vault was ruined by the soldiers and at one time they decided that they would brick it up Legend goes on to say that the workmen that bricked up the door did a real good job. But the next day, they came back and all the bricks were neatly stacked 
to the side of the vault and the door remained open. I really don't know what this is about, but it's very interesting. It appears to be a grave with steps at where the headstone would be. Perhaps steps leading up out of the grave, maybe? Kind of interesting. Now these two graves there, they are in the woods. Mary Flip, Fripp, Mary Fripp, and Eliza Fripp. In memory of Miss Eliza E. Fripp, died the 31st of March, 1845, at 78 years old. She was a kind friend, tender mother, and a beloved wife. Now they said that the tomb was prepared for Eliza Fripp, so perhaps she was buried here instead of in the tomb. For reasons I don't know, it says that the tomb is out of order. Hmm. You can still make out on the front of the tomb, Fripp. There is a really high-end island nearby called Fripp Island and it's where the rich and famous go to enjoy the beaches and the water. There's one column in front of this church. I am going to guess from the indentions on the front that there was perhaps timber that came out and this was the front corner of the porch and there was perhaps another column here. At least that's the way it seems. Well, they say this is a very hot paranormal site. I am not going to hang around much longer to find out, but I do hope that you have enjoyed our trip to the Chapel of Ease on St. Helen Island. It's been very interesting and I hope you found so too. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to go down below and click subscribe if you will. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, y'all have a good day.